The rating is often performed in many use cases. Rating can be displayed to you when you are buying a product or when you have bought a product or when you are reviewing something or the overall performance of a feature or function or system or application the feedback asked from you by the developers or makers of such a product can be in form of rating so rating comes uh, at that uh, important level such that they know how you you feel about the product how the product is uh, interacting with your overall experience and how you rate it so rating is important because it allows them to know exactly where to impl improve or how to improve the overall performance of the application when they get such important feedback so when you want to apply rating to your application and allow the user to rate the user interface to rate the performance we have such a control here it's called rating so let's take the let's take the label here and this time we want to use the HTML label here so let's change the text we want to change it to rate my UI and we're going to put some uh, strong emphasis here rate my UI and then rate my UX which is rate uh, which is just user experience rate my speed right so let's take this let's change the text of our HTML label here here you're asking the user to rate the overall user interface the design of your application here we are asking them to rate the experience the user experience as they interact with your application here we are not asking them to rate the performance speed of the application maybe right so we can ask all kinds of information from users to get a feedback on how they rate the overall performance of the application or the ui etc so the rating controls allows them to put some value let's run and see you can set the value yourself or they can put the value if there's an already existing rating we can apply the value to that as well so let's run the application and see what we get let's allow Visual Studio to build there it is now we can choose the rating for example here so what's so interesting here guys I'd like you to notice this uh, let's change okay the color first the rating color of course most of the ratings is in gold or whatever color this can be changed as you can see the default color is uh, a shade of cyan but you can change to any color really so we like to change from a shade of cyan to to gold so for the for this rating is gold and uh, this rating is gold and this rating is gold sorry red let me change to gold right now let's run and see you can change it to black to whatever color that suits your application and your overall theming and the design that we have so by default we just set it to 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 orange but you can set it to any color now the user can rate well I think the UI of this application well let's give it a four the experience ah oh, nah let's give it a three and a half the speed well a five 
<laughs> something like this. So guys, I'd like you to, to notice something. If you sell, the user can give a rating of decimals as well. For example, if it's three, or it could be three and a half. It could be four. It could be four and a half. It could be five. So you can set the value yourself as well, or the user can give a rating. How do you set the value? Let's say your application is being used by so many users, 1 million users, for example. It's a big software. And all of your users have rated your application because the user interface is well built. It's so beautiful. And the rating from your users is 4.5 out of 5. You can set here the value to 4 comma five and there the value be set so this property here let, let's take for example this uh, rating let's go to the back value it's of type float as you can see here it's of type float so rather than hard coding this well it's unconventional let's put it this to zero and let's go back and let's change the value from zero and the value may be coming let's say from the database the value may be coming from the database for example and uh, here you can see that the value is of type float here and let's say the first application, uh, the, the user interface, so it's 4.5. The user experience, let's say it's uh, 3.5. And the speed, well, let's say it's 5. Let's run the application and see. Here, by default, you can see all the values are 0. There's nothing. The values are coming from the database. Let's see if they'll be properly displayed on the application. Let's wait some few seconds as the application builds and run. There we have it. Okay, I made a mistake. I forgot to change the values here. It's only rating one, so let's change this to two. Let's change this to three. I'm sure these are the names. Let's run. I hope there won't be any building error. I'm sure these are the names of my rating controls. So again, let's wait some few moments as the application is being compiled and built and let's see right as you can see now the values are coming from the database of course here we have hard coded them but of course they can be coming from the database which is updated by other users as they input values the value is sent to the database and each user when they refresh the UI or use the application navigate to the page the rating is updated in real time so you can see here that the values have been changed and the user can also update their own values right there right so this is what we have and if you look at how we can use this we can change the we can change the border color we can also change the thickness the border color is we can change it to a shade of gray or white is transparent because the the background is white so let's change it to a shade of gray or you can change it to black or you can change it to any other color to suit your UI right as you can see right there you can make it read only as well so let's change all of them let's copy first and we want to change the value to read only let's do this let's copy this label let's do this here we're going to say provide your own rating provide your 
rates and let's change here the your rate to let's underline here something like this let's remove the period let's do this let's change the text here something like this we can make this read only let's set the read only to true let's say overall rating let's say overall rate overall rating something like this and let's put a strong tag here and say this is the overall rating right and then here we can change from rate my we can say ui we can say ux we can say speed right provide your rate now let's build and run and let's see what we get Let's give Visual Studio a moment to compile everything that we've provided, the customizations we've made, and let's wait for it to run. Right. As you can see right there, overall rating, fine. We cannot change. I'm trying to click here. But we cannot change. Sorry. We cannot change here because it is... Um, it is read only so the user can see the overall rating how others have rated the ui the ux and the speed of the application now we can provide our own rating okay many people think this is four out of five well i think this is five i i provided my own rating the ux will is three and a half well i think this is three speed of course i agree it's five so we can allow them to provide their own rating at the same time they can see the rating that has been provided and we can put of course the number of people who have rated the application and etc we just wanted to demonstrate that you can use rating to get important feedback from your users just about anything in your application the overall appearance the user interface the speed the 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 the, the, the cpu footprint all sorts of things you can ask that from the user so I invite you please guys to go ahead and try to use this rating. Get important feedback from your users that can allow you to see where you need to improve or where you're doing good and you need to maintain. You can also change here the thickness by default is two. You can change it to one. You can change the fill color. You can change the, the value as well and you can set the read only property. So thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you when you talk about an